Most of the time, we are stressed but I we don't understand why. Suppose, you are feeling low and stressed, if you stay in that way, you will feel bitter. So, when you feel low you can do some of these things. Suppose, you have tons of tasks and you are trying to escape them. Doing these kinds of tasks doesn't add some amazing feeling to yourself. But if you avoid them, you will feel guilty and overly down in yourself. So, what should you do then? Talk calmly and affectionately with yourself about all the problems you are facing now. Then come up with creative, unique, and easy solutions for your problems. I applied this method in my life and came up with a lot of solutions. Here is the list of things I did to myself. 1. Every morning when I wake up, I feel depressed and demotivated. So, I chose to write about my interested topic and then publish it to my writer account. In this way, I will feel connected to myself and feel the joy to be noticed by others. As a writer, the more people like my work, the more I feel confident and happy. These things sometimes motivate me to keep going. 2. I started giving myself marks on my mental health. I made all the notes on how I felt, my negativities, and my worries. I regularly check if I have improved from my previous negative feelings and emotions or not. In this way, if I see any improvements, I feel better and relaxed. For example, for the past few months, I was feeling like everyone else is doing better than me. I was also taking people's jokes as mean insults and hurting myself. But then I noticed these things don't affect me anymore as they used to. I don't do them anymore. So, I felt less burdened and better. 3. I got an eye allergy. So, I couldn't use the phone as much as I used to anymore. If I use my phone, I feel headache water ulcers coming from my eye. This is a lot of annoying. So, instead of using my phone all the time, I divided and replaced my tasks on the phone. I watched videos about the life stories of Pandeep video isoses that came on my page, read short stories on Facebook, and write whatever was on my mind on MIUI note. After my eye problem, I started to read books instead of watching videos that increase my headaches. Then I started playing games with ads on my phone. So, when ads run between games, my eye can be ready for 30 seconds. I don't have to use my phone non-stop then. I still keep touching my phone and want to touch my phone all the time. But I also made some healthy solutions to save my health while using my phone. Besides, I avoid looking directly at my phone screen.